My name is Adrienne Mayernick, and I am the sister of one of the clients that was through ARC. My parents were the beginning parents of building the ARC. My name is Janice Van Dusen. I'm a, a member of the ARC. I've been with the ARC for approximately 43 years, and uh, I am a past, have been a past president of the board in uh, 1980. And, um, Currently, I'm a board member again. Initially, the organization was called the Association for Retarded Children. Then it changed to the Association for Retarded Citizens, and now it is known as the ARC. They had about eight other parents that became a group. Part of the people that sat around a kitchen table and created and began the creation of, you know, our kids are going to have somewhere to go. They're going to have services. They're going to be treated respectfully. My parents were Mr. Andrew and Marion Mayernick. Also was Mr. Joseph and Betty Strano. Also Mr. and Mrs. Walter Predabon and Josephine. There was Mr. and Mrs. Ty Bergstresser. There were Mr. and Mrs. James Campbell. There were Mr. and Mrs. Francis. There were Mr. and Mrs. Laporta, and there was Lois Gutzwaller. And they got together as parents to found the ARC and become a part of an ARC, <clears throat> uh, an ARC uh, group that was also not just grassroots, but a nationwide program. So when you think back to 70 years ago, there were no services at all. There was no early intervention. There was no special education, no group homes. There were no services way back then for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, except for institutional care. There was uh, one a woman, Marjorie Kyler Lewis, who started the newsletter, which was a wonderful instrument in getting the information out. My impression was at that time that the founding members of the ARC were people who saw the need for their children and for themselves to have support. That we need to find ways to make accessing services for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities in their families easier, to provide different types of services that people are looking for, that people want, and again, that will help people with intellectual and developmental disabilities become involved in the community. They wanted to buy a building on Fairmont Avenue, which was an old laundry. And so they went house to house with canisters asking for donations. And I was one of the people at the age of 17 that went on the walk to knock on doors. We would go there for meetings. We would have support groups. We would have speakers come in. And I believe the mission that they had was to have their children educated, to have them be sociable, and to be accepted in the community. The ARC has evolved wonderfully, I think, in terms of going from just being supported by donations into a wonderful situation in which we are training people to go out, back out into the community to get more jobs. Uh, I've seen the janitorial program at the ARC flourish to, I don't recall how many people are in it now, uh, special needs people, but there's probably quite a few hundred who are involved in the janitorial program. And so I've seen that from its inception. In the absence of a reliable and public transportation system, uh, there is a serious gap that needed to be filled by someone. And ARC Mercer took that responsibility and stepped up and they set up the transportation system that they currently have just to fill that gap. People with disabilities in these communities are suffering, trying to get uh, their uh, public transportation to extend the lines, and it's always a challenge. I think most of these challenges have been addressed by the service provided by our Mercer. I think when you look at the breadth and depth of the services that are offered, you know, just even having a medical clinic is unbelievably innovative. Um, again, it's not there to make a lot of money. It's there because there's a need. So here we are, 70 years later, and the ARC Mercer is really a champion and a trailblazer with what they have done in providing really high quality 
primary medical care, and also behavioral health services for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. They understand what the challenges are, they understand what the needs are, and they are constantly moving forward to meet those needs, to make the system a little easier for people to access, and to provide the quality and supports and services that they have come to be known by after 70 years in this community. There is nothing more powerful than a parent's love because they built from that and made a wonderful it's a wonderful program for these children that grew and as you know it went far and far beyond their ever expectations. On behalf of the ARC of New Jersey and our board and our staff I want to congratulate the ARC of Mercer County for 70 years of excellence. Congratulations ARC Mercer on 70 years of service to individuals with disabilities. Warmest wishes to Steve Cook and the ARC Mercer for 70 fabulous years. I would like to congratulate the ARC Mercer on their 70th anniversary. I give my heartfelt um, congratulations to the ARC of Mercer, to all the previous leadership, and to Steve Cook and his really incredible team. Congratulations to the ARC Mercer on celebrating your 70th anniversary. The organization, the staff, the board of directors, the uh, leadership and the consumers of Arc Mercer. Please continue to be a leader in the field of IDD because we all benefit from what you do. And I know that we will celebrate many, many more anniversaries as we move forward with the Arc Mercer. And I look forward to what the next 70 years will bring with a lot more innovation, I'm sure. Again, I congratulate them for all what they've done and uh, from Access New Jersey perspective, we look forward to uh, another 70 years of partnership in the interest of uh, the people we both serve. For our to celebrate the 70 years is monumental because we now see what has come out of what my mother and father have started. Long may you wave and go on and continue to provide the services that you do and also to always recognize that you have so many wonderful attributes that can be applied to so many people. Carry on.